Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading so that we can look into the week coming ahead and plan how we want to interact with the energies that will be around us. The first card is Seven of Fire, Initiation. The second card is Two of Fire, Impact. The third card is Eight of Fire, Velocity. The fourth card is Keeper of Bridges, Persist. And the fifth card is Keeper of Water, Wisdom. Well, we start the week with a lot of activity, a lot of passion. Our creativity is up here in the beginning of the week. At the very beginning, we're going through an initiation. And what that means is that something that you've been learning is now becoming yours. You're being acknowledged by yourself or by others as having actually gained some skills. And this is a wonderful thing. It's a great foundation to stand on. As we move into the next part of the week, we need to be aware of our impact. And this just indicates that you can go overboard and over overdo what you're trying to do and have a negative impact. You can underdo it or you can find that perfect balance where what you're intending to produce from what you're doing actually occurs. So make sure that you're choosing the right impact for your intentions. Give it enough energy to manifest the intention. Don't give it so much that you destroy something and don't give it so little that you let something continue being that you're ready to move beyond. Once we've assessed our impact and aligned with what we want that to be, we move into velocity. And this means that the energies are moving with you, you're well supported, you're in your stream of energy, and the flying is free for a little while. So enjoy your velocity in the middle of the week. As you move toward the end of the week, it's important to persist. Just keep going in the same direction that you've been going in earlier this week. This is the right way for you to go, even if it looks like it's going to take longer or take more work or not be possible. Keep moving with it. At the end of the week, we land in our wisdom. I always love being in that place because what this says is that you're able to approach whatever's going on in your life from a place of careful consideration and wise decisions, from a place of seeing the big picture instead of being caught up in the minute details. So in summary for this week, lots of passion through the first half of the week, lots of activity. There's something at the beginning of the week that you need to acknowledge yourself for and allow yourself to receive any acknowledgments that are coming from other people because you actually have completed some cycle of your life and your skills are greater as a result. Pay attention to your impact. Don't want to have an impact that you don't desire as you're manifesting things this week. And enjoy just being in the flow of the energy in the middle of the week. As you get toward the end of the week, keep going. Keep moving with that velocity velocity that you've already got and appreciate the wisdom that comes to you at the end of the week. Have a delightful week this week.